If you've heard me speak in person, you know you've probably heard me say, enjoy the journey. Most people don't. They live for some imagined destination. And the destination, as good as it may be, well, it's in the future. Or they, worse, live for a destination that was in the past that no longer is. It says in Hebrews 13, verse 5, Keep your lives free from the love of money and be satisfied with what you have. Now, this isn't saying that money is bad, and I never teach that money is bad. It is the over-love of money. I just lost a friend of mine. He was in his 50s, and... Uh, to be honest, he spent his entire life going after and being motivated for more and more money. And something was always lacking from his life, even with his big successes that he was able to have. He was never satisfied. It comes to that, it comes to the point that you have to find satisfaction in today. Even though you don't have the destination that you desire to have happiness today. On the grand stage of a well-lived life, material possessions should play a secondary role. And yet sometimes we allow the possessions to possess us, to assume uncontroll undo control, I should say, over our lives. But God has a better plot for our lives if we'll allow God to be the director of our lives. See, life is like a stage, and we're actors on that stage, and if we will simply allow God to, to do the production of our life, well, it will be a hit and we will be the star of our own performance. How much of your life are you investing right now in the pursuit of money and the things that money can buy? Do you own your possessions, or are they starting to own more and more of you? Are you literally being possessed by possessions instead of God? Is your life ruled by a quest for more and more and more instead of a quest for the spiritual first that can give you everything that you want and more? If material possessions are absolutely ruling your life, take careful inventory and rid yourself of the overstock. After all, nothing on earth is valuable enough to allow it to separate you daily from your awareness of the Creator. Absolutely nothing. It has been said, theirs is an endless road, a hopeless maze, who seek for goods before they seek God. I pray with you that you put the proper order in your life, that you place God first, and then, as the Bible says, all things will come to you. You will be a fulfilled person, a full person, an overflowing person, because you have done this. And you'll be a satisfied person, too. God bless you.